of Sherwood's expanding, but its infrastructure is not, and that's as more homes and businesses are starting to go up. People are fearing the traffic backup will only get worse. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffrey tells us if any relief is in sight. Rebecca? Yeah, good evening, Ashley. As Sherwood grows north, drivers still have to go south to get onto Highway 67-167, often bringing them to the intersection of Brockington and Keele. And depending on the time of day, businesses in the area say don't expect to get anywhere quickly. But the city is working to change that. It's quite a bit of traffic. Whit Davis, home and hardware, knows what it takes to make improvements. Patience. And calling Brockington Road in Sherwood home for the last three years requires a lot of it. It has gotten a little busier, a little more congested, but it, it was pretty backed up three years ago. But even Dan Davis's positive mindset... You know, gives us a great opportunity for our exposure. ...can't keep the 22,000 cars that come through the area daily moving. We've just got it do a better job when it comes to fixing our infrastructure, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. In an area where half a mile of standstill traffic is common, a solution is in the works, but it's now up to Sherwood taxpayers. If everything goes through, we'll be able to connect some roads up that will relieve some traffic off of Brockington. According to Councilwoman Mary Jo High, a three-quarter cent sales tax would cover the multi-million dollar infrastructure improvements designed to add accessibility. This vote's very important because it at least lets us begin to take those steps. As we all know, roads don't get built overnight. Davis has practiced his patience for this long. Uh, I hate uh, raise taxes, but uh, to see improvements, I think it's worth it. But now he sees potential relief. Early voting is taking place right now from 10 a.m. until 5 through Friday, and voting day is next Tuesday. Ashley.